I know you have previously come across the terms operationalization and conceptualization. In this video, we are going to try to understand these two terms with clear examples. My name is Bernard Bugo from survivingresearch.com, so let's get into it. Let's start with conceptualization. The verb conceptualization comes from the noun concept. A concept is an image, idea, feeling or thought that describes a phenomenon in the social world. Concepts are therefore linguistic symbols that are used to describe social phenomena. In this regard, concepts are abstract in nature and possess multiple meanings. So, examples of concepts include beauty, wealth, educated, among many others. Because of the different meanings that different people associate with a given concept, it will be difficult for researchers to measure a given concept without first defining it in the context of their research study. For example, a researcher who does not define a concept such as beauty before beginning their research may struggle to measure the concept in the subsequent stages of their study. Conceptualization is the process of defining and refining the meaning of concepts for the purpose of a given research study. Conceptualization will include the identification of different meanings of a given concept. During conceptualization, a researcher will also determine the evidence that they are going to observe, either indirectly or directly, to establish the absence or presence of a given concept. For instance, let us consider the concept of being educated. What images or ideas come to your mind when you hear the word educated? Of course, there is no single objective definition of being educated. To some people, being educated might mean having a bachelor's degree. To some other people, it might mean having a master's or even a PhD. To others, being educated might mean completing high school. It's therefore important for a researcher to develop a concise and clear definition of the concept they intend to study in qualitative research. To develop a clear and concise definition of a given concept, we need to conduct a thorough literature review related to the concept. For example, when evaluating the concept of being educated, we should review the literature related to being educated. After conducting a thorough review of literature related to being educated, we can find that being educated can be defined in terms of the highest level of educational achievement or the official educational qualifications that an individual has. Being educated can also be defined as the number of years of attending formal school. In this case, the concept of being educated has three dimensions. A qualitative researcher has to determine which dimension they are going to focus on in their particular study among the concepts with different dimensions. For example, related to the concept of being educated, a researcher can decide to focus on the highest level of educational qualifications among target research participants. Sometimes, a qualitative researcher can decide that identifying and measuring different dimensions of a concept will be the most effective approach to investigate a concept. What is most important is for a researcher to consider the dimensions of a concept that fit their research objectives. For example, related to being educated, a qualitative researcher can provide the following conceptual definition. The concept of being educated is defined as the highest level of educational achievement for an individual in their lifetime. The main characteristics of a good conceptual definition are that the definition has to clearly describe indicators of a concept that will be measured. For instance, in our concept of being educated, it's evident that we are going to measure the highest level of educational achievement among research participants. The second main characteristic of a good conceptual definition is that the definition has to provide the unit of analysis applicable to the concept. For instance, related to the concept of being educated, the definition provides the unit of analysis of the concept which is the highest level of education achievement for the target participants. This can range from high school, college, graduate or postgraduate qualifications. The definition of a concept through the process of conceptualization will not be enough. This is why we need to come up with a strategy to measure the different dimensions of a concept. Let's quickly look at operationalization. Operationalization is the process of stating the exact procedures or operations that a researcher will use to measure the dimensions of a given concept. In qualitative research, operationalization includes identifying the attributes such as the qualitative characteristics of a given dimension of a concept that a researcher intends to measure and the nature of the relationship between the different attributes referred 
to the dimension. So what do I mean by this? Let's consider our previous example. How can we operationalize being educated? If we were conducting an interview, we could operationalize being educated in the form of a research question that we could ask our research participants. For example, we can ask our research participants to self-report their highest level of education. We can present a question like this to the research participants. What is your highest level of educational achievement? On the other hand, if we were conducting a survey, we might also operationalize being educated through the same question but provide responses to research participants for a set of categories. We can present a question like this to research participants. What is your highest level of educational achievement? A. High school. B. College. C. Graduate. And D. Postgraduate. You can see that our questions operationalize being educated in different ways that we produce data that we can consider in our qualitative analysis. The main goal of operationalizing concepts is to provide a way to measure the different dimensions of the concept in a way that we produce meaningful results. This allows us to reach our specific research objectives. In summary, this video has shown you why conceptualization and operationalization are important to the qualitative research process. Through conceptualization and operationalization, broad concepts become clearly defined. After conceptualization and operationalization, different concepts can be measured or studied. Conceptualization and operationalization also increase the accuracy of the study results by reducing the chances of the collected qualitative data becoming meaningless or misrepresented. Conceptualization and operationalization also increase the likelihood that future researchers will be able to replicate a given qualitative research study. Now that you understand how to conceptualize and operationalize your research topic of interest, watch this video to learn how to conduct a literature review which can help you in your conceptualization process. Thank you.